So intermediate two, math, specimen, nab two, unit two, outcome two, all the twos. So on to question three. The diagram shows the line, this is from the TJ book, page 222. Uh, so the diagram shows the line x plus 2y equals 7. Part A, copy the diagram and on it show the line x plus y equals 3. Right, how do we plot the line x plus y equals 3? x plus y equals 3 is basically saying that x coordinate plus the y coordinate anywhere on the line equals 3. So we can pick some values. Uh, if x equals 0, I'm picking that because that's basically saying when I'm 0 along, in other words, on the y-axis. So when x is 0, 0 plus y equals 3, so y equals 3. So x equals 0, y equals 3, that is a coordinate somewhere on the line. And I'm also going to pick when y equals 0, in other words we're at a height of 0 or on the x-axis. In this case x plus 0 will equal 3, in which case x is 3 because 3 plus 0 is 3. And so 3 comma 0 is also a coordinate. So I'll just go over that again. This bit here, x plus y equals 3, means the x coordinate plus the y coordinate anywhere on the line equals 3. So I could also pick 2 for x. So if x was 2, 2 add y equals 3, y would have to be 1, because 2 add 1 equals 3. So 2 comma 1 will also be on the line. I could pick x to be 1. 1 plus y equals 3. So y would have to be 2. 1 add 2 equals 3. So 1, 2 would also be on the line. Right, so I'm actually plotting it on the diagram. So the, the line on top here, x plus 2y equals 7, is given in the question. The line x plus y equals 3, we have worked out two of the coordinates on the line. If you have two coordinates, you can draw a straight line. So if so there we have 3 comma 0, there we have 0 comma 3, plot them, join them up, extend the line until it crosses or intersects with the other line, and that is worth 2 marks. Part B, use your graph to solve the system of equations x plus 2y equals 7, x plus y equals 3. It says use your graph to solve them. If you solve them algebraically, like we're going to do in the next question, you get zero marks. All you need to know here is the, the coordinate, where the two lines intersect, is the solution to the system of equations, the answer to the two equations. So I've got x plus 2y equals 7, x plus y equals 3, where the crossover will be the solution to the equation. So it crosses at minus 1, comma 4. In other words, x equals minus 1, y equals 4. Right, question 4. Solve algebraically 4x plus 3y equals 15, 2x minus y equals 5. Right, to solve something like this, we need the same coefficient or the same amount of either the x's or the y's. So what I'm going to do here so I'm going to double the bottom equation. So I've called the top equation number 1, the second equation number 2. If I double that second equation, I'll get 4x, doubling the 2x, minus 2y, doubling the negative y term, equals 10, doubling the 5. So I'm going to call that equation 3. I've also written at the side that I've taken equation 2 and doubled it, making it really, really obvious what's going on. Right, so we have equation 1, and equation 3 both have 4x. If I have 4x and 4x, and I want to get rid of the 4x's, I would subtract them. Because 4x, take away 4x, is 0. So, side here I'm doing equation 1, subtract equation 3. So, 4x minus 4x is 0. 3y minus minus 2y is 5y. Another way of thinking of it is, what's the difference between 3y and minus 2y? The difference between those is 5y. And for the right hand side we've got 15 there, we've got 10 there, 15 take away 10 is 5, 5y five. Five equals 5, so y is 1. 
once we have the value of y, we need to substitute that back into either equation 1 or equation 2. And I'm going to choose to substitute it into equation 2, just because we end up with 2x minus 1 equals 5, because originally we had 2x minus y equals 5, so it becomes 2x minus 1 equals 5. Add 1 to both sides, we get 2x equals 6, in which case x equals 3. And we can double check, so check in an equation 1. x is 3, y is 1, 4 3's are 3 1's is indeed 15, because 4 3's are 12, 3 1's are 3, 12 are 3 equals 15. And that's outcome 2 done.